welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having an inspiring day. I just got my Zayful order in and if you guys haven't seen my previous Zayful hauls, you'll know that I'm actually really impressed with Zayful quality. It's one of those online affordable brands that really allowed you to play with trends and pick up things that you want to try out without investing a whole lot in it. And I am really excited, mostly because I did this haul for my upcoming trip to Thailand. I picked up a bunch of pieces that I'm going to wear while I'm there. Hopefully I will have the vlog for Thailand up soon so you guys can see me wear these pieces in action. I did still pick up a few items that I want to wear here in Toronto where it is minus 30 instead of plus 30. So I'm going to start with those in case you're really not interested in resort wear and like summer wear. But if you guys have somewhere like warm that you're going to be going anytime soon or want to get started on some like, summer fashion, then you'll want to keep watching past that because I am so stoked about what I picked up. Lots of swimwear. So if you're interested about the quality of Zayful swimwear, we are going to investigate together. A lot of really cute sets. Either way, I hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments below if you've shopped Zayful before and obviously if you liked any of these pieces. And subscribe to the Inspired Family if you're not already a part of our little family here. I think we're pretty much 25,000 strong and I am so happy and so honored that so many of you guys are here with me. But with that, let us get into the Zayful. Goodness. All right, like I said, I'm gonna start off with pieces that I picked up specifically for here, colder climate. First thing is this really cute cropped mint green sweater. And the quality of this is so nice, so thick, and honestly, very heavy weight knit. So I'm really impressed with the quality of this. I thought this would look so cute tucked in with like a white pair of pants or a pleated skirt. It's a really cute way to throw mint green into the mix. And this sweater was $20. Here is that cropped sweater on and the sleeve length I'm so happy about. Sometimes when I order things online I notice that the sleeve lengths don't always work out but so happy with this one. It is a super cropped top but I think it looks really cute like layered over things. Kind of like how I'm wearing it right Right now really nice for the winter season but also transitioning into the spring and again the quality of this is bomb.com. Next up I picked up a set I feel like Zayful's really well known for their sets I've been really impressed by all their set style pieces mostly because for the price of one you kind of get two and it's already a pre-made ensemble for you so you don't really have to put too much thought into it. I picked up this gorgeous cerulean blue I learned that from Anna Wintour I believe, no, not Anna Wintour. I don't know, Devil Wears Prada. Cerulean blue, so new for the fall. Really, really classy looking. It's got this cardigan V-neck at the top here, and then it comes with this pleated blue skirt at the bottom. I just thought that this was gonna be so cute, belted up, kind of like a monochrome action, monochrome in blue action. And this set here, for both pieces was $30. Here is that blue set on and honestly not exactly what I had in mind. I thought that the pleated skirt would come a little bit lower but I actually don't mind this at all. I kind of feel like this is giving me major like fashion-y vibes because of the monochrome look. Honestly, I probably wouldn't wear this separately with other items. I don't really know how I like the pieces on their own, but together it looks like a really cute dress and not hating this color. I almost feel like it looks really cute with these white shoes and yellow headband and also super ladylike. Really dig in this vibe. I've never tried this sort of combination here, but I really like it. Next up, let's jump into my resort wear, which I'm so excited about. I'm so excited to wear these in Thailand. Obviously, I'm planning these outfits for 30 plus degrees Celsius weather. And your girl is excited because living in Canada, you really don't get 30 degrees Celsius anywhere besides a sauna. Pretty much I got sets, accessories, and a lot of swimwear. So let's start off with sets first. This first one here is in my favorite color. You guys know, well, one of my favorite colors, this beautiful orangey set. I just feel like it looks so nice on skin tones. It's got this wrap up crop top, which again, can be worn separately outside of the set, which I love, as well as these paper bag short, paper bag? 
I always say paper boy, but paper bag shorts that have these faux buttons going up, high-waisted, super cute, and such a great color. And the set here was $20. Okay, so I was wrong about this being a pair of shorts. It is most definitely a skirt, but still like it. Also didn't realize that it came with this little tie-up thing here, which I think is really cute, but top fits really, really well. I like these sorts of tops because I feel like they hug your body really well and they can customize to the type of body shape that you have. Obviously get the right size for you, but for the most part, I feel like it's a little bit more flexible with regards to how it ends up fitting. But again, love this color. One of my favorite colors for the warmer season. And I just feel like this is a really nice throw on and go set and also great for 30 plus weather where I'm basically sweating my life away. And last up in sets, you guys know your girl had to throw some color into the mix. All right, I picked up this really cute rainbow striped silky style fabric set. Again, shorts because to be quite honest with you, I wear shorts mostly when I'm on vacation slash exploring and adventuring in warm climates. I just feel like it gives me some more flexibility. And this top here, which is a tie up front top with some ruffle sleeves. The fabric on this is silkier, so definitely super breathable. And I just feel like this pop of color is gonna add so much bright colored warmth to my holiday looks. And this set here, both pieces were $15. Here is the rainbow set on. I'm holding it closed here because it is quite boobalicious. It is a very, very deep V. I think this would be really cute as a swimsuit cover up this top, but without a bandeau or anything, you cannot wear this um, like this. I mean, if you have uh, some boobs on the top, you just like, you can't. Uh, unless you don't or you're a little bit more smaller frame, this will kind of drape on you a little bit nicer, but with my current body shape, uh, no go. The shorts, however, are super cute and uh, can be worn without a bandeau, but I think for the top part, I'm definitely gonna have to wear a bandeau or a swimsuit underneath, but I love these beautiful rainbow stripes. I feel like they're so pretty and so fun for a vacation vibe. All right, next up is swimwear, and honestly, I feel like I could have even split up this haul into swimwear as a haul in and of itself because Zafel's swimwear prices are incredible. Like, so, so great. And I'm not really sure why. I had ordered a Zafel swimwear piece once before in the past and was so pleasantly surprised with the quality of the fabric and the make and the cut. So I figured that I would bite the bullet and pick up a few a ton of different swimwear pieces from them again and kind of put the quality to the test. First up is this gorgeous white very deep v-neck low back one piece and the quality on it so far so great well lined also has cups built in and are removable and these cups are actually quite thick so i feel like it's gonna cover the girls and i'm just so excited about this piece i haven't picked up a white one piece in a while now but it's probably the piece that i wear the most when i'm away and this one piece was ten dollars and 99 cents all right, here is that white swimsuit on. So, so cute. I love this style of bathing suit in general where it's got like a really deep V, a really low back, and a halter style tie up. I feel like these also really work well in case you're like unsure about sizing. These are definitely a lot more flexible just cause you can tighten or loosen as your body needs, but such a cute piece, pretty much a full bikini at the back and fits definitely true to size. I actually took out the cups because I felt like it kind of gave like a weird shape with my particular body shape, but definitely a great piece to pick up and fits so well. Also, I cannot believe how affordable this was. Crazy! And to match the white one piece, I picked up a black one piece. This one has a super deep V and a super deep V back. I'm very curious to know if this is gonna cover the girls. We're gonna try and test it out. But I just thought it was so beautiful. It looked so great on the model. One that I also feel like you can use as a bodysuit as well if you're going, you know, clubbing and you're thinking about being a little scandalous. And this one piece was also 
$10.99. Here is the black bathing suit on, and I'm not gonna lie, I was really, really worried about my girls popping out of this. So far, so good. It actually pulls quite tight up here, but it is a very large open area in this v-neck area, so you wanna be sure you feel super comfortable with that, but Honestly, I don't mind it, and the back is really, really cute, holds up really well, and again, the fabric quality is amazing, fits true to size, a super cute piece, and really, really, again, well made. And I'm having a moment with monochrome style black and white swimwear. I just, I don't know why, but I just am. This next one here is a very simple kind of tube top style bandeau tie up bikini in white. This is kind of in a ribbed fabric and it also comes with this white bikini bottom that's kind of like a thong action. I'm gonna be honest, I picked up a bunch of these to kind of try to see if the thong style bikini was gonna work for me. So we're gonna see together. Please keep the comments body positive because your girl has been slacking on her gym movements, so. But either way, I just figured it was a great way to kind of try it out and see if the thong style or tinier bikini bottom works for me. And this set was $12. Here is that white bikini on and Honestly, not hating this smaller um, bikini bottom situation. I was really worried about how that was gonna look and feel, but really love this bikini and the way that it fits, the way that it kind of sits just above your hip line. I also really like that this bandeau has a um, tie-up action at the back there. Just try not to wear this at uh, your special time of the month because obviously, white bikinis would not be a good go then. Next up, picked up a red solid bikini. As you can see, I think I have in my collection a lot of like stripes and a lot of patterns and not enough solid colored swimwear. So picked up a red solid color bikini set, again in this sort of high rise, almost thong style bottom, as well as this super strappy triangle basic uh, top. I am very excited about this one. I think this is going to be great for like not getting crazy bikini lines, but again, very conscious about how this is going to make my girls and my body feel. We shall find out. And this set here was $15.99. I am not going to lie. I was fearful with this bikini. I didn't think it was going to fit the top half of my body, but it actually does quite well. This is also a much more thongy style bikini bottom, but again, I actually don't feel that off in it. It doesn't make me feel like really revealed or anything. Again, love the fact that this is adjustable, the straps, and again, surprisingly fits the girls. I mean, it is still quite a revealing top, but not feeling too shabby in this. Feeling actually quite good. This is probably my favorite style of two-piece sets. It's the ones that tie in the front here. You've seen me already pick up one of those in this style, but I just find that this works really well if you're not sure what cup size you are in a specific brand. Just because the tie-up allows you to kind of pull your girls in together, it really is such a flattering shape and keeps everything intact. So this one here is in gingham because surprise surprise it's one of your girl's favorite prints and as well this bottom here which is also a little bit of a high rise almost thong like action uh again we shall see about these and this one here was also fifteen dollars here is the gingham bikini on and again i think that this tie up action here is just my favorite with regards to all sorts of tops whether it be like a blouse or a bikini i just find that it helps to pull in your girls in a really nice way i don't hate this style of bikini bottom, a lot of the bikinis that I picked up were this style where they kind of come up a little bit higher and are a deeper V, but I actually feel like it makes your legs look really, really long that way. So big fan. And this is probably the most comfortable one that I've tried so far where I feel like everything's kind of intact. The fabric, again, incredible. I think it's safe to say that Zafel's uh, bikini and swimwear collection good on the fabric front. Nothing feels like it's falling apart. Everything feels like it is intact and such a cute piece, again, because I will basically be living in my bikini. And very last but not least is this solid sort of blush dark pink 
ruffled shoulders and wired bra set. So I was really excited about this because wired bras obviously support your girls a lot better. My only thing that I want to warn you guys to watch out for is that obviously the sets are sold together so you can't really customize the size of your bottom and the size of your top. So for example, I am most definitely a small in the bottom, uh, but I think I'm more like a medium in the top section just because um, I'm a 32D so I wear like a cup size that would probably be a little bit bigger than this and I'm a little worried that it's not going to hold the girls in but hopefully it will hopefully it covers up it has the tie up detail in the back and it's also got adjustable shoulder straps which is great so just something to watch out for in case you are a little bit like off proportion in terms of your top and your bottom size uh, maybe try to keep away from things that are wired or things that are too structured in your swimwear from Zafel and the set here was $16 here is that blush tone uh, bikini on. Uh, the bottoms fit beautifully and perfectly. Uh, the top, again, like I said, unfortunately, this is one of those styles with the wire that uh, you really need to customize your size with. And unfortunately, like, I'm hanging out underneath from this. So if you do have a... Um, different bottom and top sides. This might not be the perfect bathing suit for you. It is super cute and if you are pretty much the same size top and bottom, this bikini is so adorable but unfortunately the top is just a little bit too small for me. And for the very last item is accessories and this straw bag is one that I picked up and I'm super excited about. I didn't want to bring any of my designer purses with me to Thailand. I just felt like it wasn't the best place and honestly who needs a designer bag when you are chilling out at the beach, but the key thing to this guy here is one, because it's straw, it's gonna fit a lot because it's got a lot of stretch and a lot of give, but the second and more important thing is that it's got a zipper. And when you're traveling, you obviously want to find bags that are going to keep your items secure. You don't want to lose anything in a foreign country. And I have a lot of straw bags but none that have a zipper. So I really wanted to invest in this guy here. And this piece was $18. And honestly, a really great price considering the zipper is actually quite high quality. Seems like it's gonna hold up. And it's lined on the inside, so nothing's gonna fall out of your crochet. And that is it for my Zafel haul this season. I picked up so many pieces, I cannot believe how many I picked up. Honestly, I've said this before, but I just feel like Zafel is so worth it if you want to try something that you don't really want to invest a whole lot of money in, but still want to be playful and try. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big inspired thumbs up. Comment below if you have any brands that are kind of like Zafel that you want me to try as well. I'm always open to trying out new brands for you guys and checking them out. I've also had the question quite a bit, how I can afford to travel so much. And I'll be honest with you guys, it's mostly because I get incredibly generous partnerships uh, on both my Instagram channels and my YouTube channel and through ad dollars and ad revenue, obviously, that I then take and use towards traveling. Uh, that's where I spend most of my money and I see it as pouring my money back into investing in content for you guys. So hopefully you guys like the travel content. Hopefully you guys like this haul content because honestly, it's basically the cycle of, I am so blessed to be able to make money from sharing my life and my content with you guys. And then I take that money and reinvest it into the content I create for you guys. So hopefully that makes sense but I'm always open to answering any of your questions maybe I'll do a Q&A as well let me know in the comments below if you would like that but with that I hope you guys have an inspiring rest of your day make sure to like this video if you did like it comment below your favorites subscribe to the inspired family if you are new and with that remember kindness doesn't cost a thing and I'll talk to you guys next time bye